Yo, what's up, dudes? Got an update for Ladder. Wanted to do just like an actual recorded video for this one, not live stream it. Um, to kind of, you know, do a build video pretty much, but also just kind of like show where we're at. If you have, if you, if you haven't seen the live streams, or maybe if you're catching up on some of them or whatever, or you just tune in and out, I just kind of wanted to get a video out there to show my season six. Dragon Claw Assassin build. And I'm going to create a game here, actually. 220 Jav Gloves. And I found some rare jav uh, Javelin Gloves that have 2 to skills, 20% increased attack speed. And they have um, 220, they have Cold Res, um, Strength, and they have Dex, I think. Uh, for Burr. So, I'm going to just create that game and just see if I can get a Burr rune out of these. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's, let me show that first, I guess. So, I found these. Corpse Claw Bramble Mitts. Check it out. 28 Cold Res, 5 Dex, 20% increased attack speed, 2 to Javelin and Spear skills, Charge Bolt, 1 Struck. So, those are kind of nice. I traded a Martial Arts version of these, essentially. Um, almost the same, actually. They had Nova when struck, 2 to Martial Arts, 20% increased attack speed. They had Strength, and they had 30 Cold Res on them. So, and I traded those away for 2, two Vex, I believe. So, how's it been going with this character? Well, it's been going awesome. So, you can see right off the bat, we look amazing. Uh, our Assassin looks really cool. Uh, we had... Some really nice trades on stream. We also had some really nice donations on stream from people. Um, uh, Joachim, shout out to him. He gave me two burr runes in the stream. I was like, what are you doing? You know, and he was just like, eh, just take him, whatever. He's like, I, I played the ladder a bunch already. I was like, all right, man. I was like, that's fine. I'll take him. Um, and then I did find in the shop... If you watch those streams, a really nice pair of th uh, javelin gloves, 320s. Traded those for a jaw. Um, so I did make Enigma. All right, so let's show that first. I made Enigma on this character, and it's been really nice to have, of course, the quality of life of that. I made it in, in, in a breastplate. That was the first three open socket armor that I found once I had the runes. Uh, and I was like, ah, oh, should I make it in that? And then I put it on. I was like, it looks cool. It, the defense rolled 771. I was also like, yeah, um, the 30 strength requirement on a breastplate is kind of sweet, you know? Um, so, and then I haven't even respect yet or anything on this character, but so we have Enigma, first of all. All right, let me, uh, I guess I'll move my face over a little bit here. There you go. Okay, so we have Enigma. There it is. The run walk, the strength. You know, everyone knows this item is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but it is cool, you know, that in this game, there are items that are the best items, you know? Are they the best for every instance, no matter what? Like, no, but this one is kind of hard to beat, right? So I did make Enigma. I made it in a breastplate. Our assassin looks very cool with this type of armor. Love the look of that. For the helmet, we've been going G-Face, okay? And I do have another couple other helmets in the stash here so i do have i did shop this one three to shadow disciplines for pre-buffing the shadow master and then i did get this as a donation as well uh joachim i think you gave me this one too dude um this was two to assassin 30 percent faster run walk 20 percent faster cast six mana stolen and 71 mana um you can really fly with with um some faster cast with this thing on sometimes i have used this actually for just like doing quick runs of something so that's kind of cool um claws all right this one is the shadow killer early on in the ladder i traded a perfect amethyst i think for this this is one percent off perfect and nobody wants this item nobody wants any assassin unique claws actually um so getting assassin unique claws just so i could like get my build through portions of the game was pretty easy i actually also have and you'll see i put a burr rune in it so I socketed this, and I did put the other Burr Rune in this for Crushing Blow. This item is actually really nice. It's ethereal, so it's got more damage. 
minus 25% target defense, freezes target, 12 mana after each kill, and then the Frost Nova on striking happens all the time. So the freeze target and the slowing from the Frost Nova are both great um, crowd control things, um, uh, uh, statuses. And so anybody that's not immune to cold, they just can't move when I attack them. So, and I have two two claws here, and I've said that you know this is this is a dragon claw assassin. So twenty points in dragon claw, twenty points in claw mastery. Okay, and look at the damage on the dragon claw: seven hundred and forty percent attack rating, five hundred and fifty percent damage, with a four percent synergy per level for claw mastery. Claw Mastery gives us another 310% attack rating, 147% damage, 22% chance of crit strike. So that's nice. I have points. I have a skill point remaining here. And um, I'm basically, uh, I've been putting some into Burst of Speed to hit certain break points with certain gear. We have 10 base into Shadow Master, 10 base into Burst of Speed. Um, traps, we have 20 into Blade Shield, so it'll last a little bit longer. It does buff the damage up a little bit. Uh, I think I put one point into Blade Sentinel, two points into Blade Sentinel, just to see how it would affect the synergy on this. And then we got one point into Dragonflight. So, yeah. So anyway, we're using two claws, so we can basically use this finishing move of Dragon Claw as our main attack. Um, so, I have Bartok. It's not upped or anything. I have two of them. This one is... Perfect, I believe. 200% enhanced damage, 8% lifesteal. I have another one that I traded for, and this one is not perfect, but it did have a high roll on the damage, and 196%. Um, like I was saying, the unique claws, nobody cares about. So I could trade Perfect Amethyst for those as well. So when I was in Nightmare, I had two Bartucks, at, you know, eventually. I then found the Jade Talon Wrist Sword. Um, and... This has 42 all res, so if I need res really bad, I could just throw this on. And um, we do need a little more IAS with this one, though. The Restored isn't as fast as, say, a Greater Talent. But that kind of helps our survivability a bit. It's kind of like a nice shield that you can use, right? And then, of course, Assassin has Weapon Block. So that's kind of sweet, too. And it does have 1 to Martial Arts, 2 to Shadow Discipline. So, you know, that's all good. I like using this one, though, I think the most for, like, the attack frame. Um, I also was running with this setup at times, too. Check this out. If I put on Goblin Toe, which I found, and then I put on Rattle Cage, which I traded for, like, a perfect Amethyst, and then I have a Burrune in this with G-Face, our Crushing Blow with this setup now is 105% with this weapon, and it is 85% with this weapon. So if I really want to go max crushing blow, I can. And I was running a variation of that for a while. But the best setup overall is this, War Travelers. That adds to our damage on Blade Shield. It adds to our damage on our weapons. 15 to 25 damage is nice. Um, and then G-Face seems to be pretty good. Better than even running with this thing for the two skills and all that. So and we have Atmas for the amp damage proc. Super useful. When it goes off, we just rip through things. Raven Frost, uh, Nosferatu is for the life steal, the attack speed, the strength is nice. Um, a life steal ring with some poison res, gold find, dexterity, attack rating. Dexterity is nice on this build because dexterity increases attack rating and it can increase damage for the claws. Laying of hands is kind of hard to beat right now. Look at our res is negative one. So it is a little bit tough, you know. Um, when I'm not using this here too, though, I can buff up my my resistances a bit like this. So, we have, with this setup, 22 lightning, 6 fire, negative 44 cold, but we got a raven frost, and 59 poison. Um, so, on swap, we've got a wizard spike, and I did find a monarch. I was trying to look for one. I found one. I rolled it. It got like one socket. And then I did find one and rolled it. It got four sockets. Um, and then I put a spirit in there for 34 faster casts. So when I switch, dude, I have um, a bunch of faster casts now. Check it out. Um, uh, if I can find it. Where is it? 84% mm, faster cast rate. So, and if I really want to go fast, like I said, I can put this on and get to 104% faster cast. Which is pretty nice. So, if I recall... Let me just see uh, if I'm at a break point or not. 
I can check that out really quickly. Uh, faster cast. Let's see. For an assassin, 102 is the second to last. Okay. And 65 is the one before that. So anyway, with this, and I'll just show it off really quick just so you can kind of see. Let's go to the cold planes and I'll just zip around really quick. Wizard spike, spirit, and this uh, faster cast circlet, coronet. Check it out. So we're pretty fast, you know. Um, and I didn't even I didn't even um, cast any of my stuff yet. So let's let's go back to the rogue encampment. I did find out also that blade shield does not snapshot. So there's no point in pre-buffing blade shield at all. Maybe for the duration. But I tested it on the streams, and I was like, oh, I even shopped three to traps claws, and then realized I don't need them at all. So what I do here is Shadow Disciplines. I found an amulet. Didn't even have to gamble it. Just found it out in the wild. Um, this is after the streams were even over. Three to Shadow Disciplines. All right, so we've got three here, three here. I used an imbue quest on Charcy, and she gave me a three to Shadow Master Claw. So that's cool. Um, so we've got uh, Shadow Disciplines, Skiller, Torch and Annie. My Torch, I paid like a pull rune and five... Um, gems and a hell rune for it because it was a really bad roll, only a 1310. The Annie was given to me by Joachim, who really hooked me up that one stream. We do also have this really nice charm from Dead Parrot. Thanks, man. Seven run walk, 10 max damage, 57 attack rating. Really like that. Um, so we do have, um, and then uh, we there's there's a lot to cover, right? But basically, let me just show off the build at this point. So Oh, somebody joined. Howdy, show. Oh, he left. Let me, uh... Let's see here. This guy, I, this guy was, uh... Hmm. My bad, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see here. This guy just joined. I, he tried to... Uh, recently played with... Anyway, I'm Whisper him. Um, so here, the Shadow Master now, I can summon at level 28. We get three here, three here, three here, and we get two skills there. A Skiller, Torch, and Annie, and someone joined, so let's see. Um, I know I'm kind of doing a build showcase, but also I'm playing the game right now. So this is kind of like how the live stream goes, you know? Uh, game. So, he's saying, show me the our item, please. And it's 220, 5 dex, 28. Let's see if he wants it or not. Hmm, no thank you. Okay, no problem, dude. So, anyway, I can cast my... Shadow Master at level 28 now with, and we only have 10 base points. Okay, so here we go. Level 28, Shadow Master. Super nice. And then um, I can also cast my Venom, which I have a point in. So it is at level 16 now with this gear. And then I can cast Burst of Speed. Or actually, I can get it higher. Hold on. I can get the Venom even higher if I do this. So Venom at level 18. Burst of speed can go up to 25. And if they run out, I just recast them. I don't go back and pre-buff all that. And then we switch back, so we've got Bartux, Shadow Killer, Atmas, G-Face, Enigma. And the build's not done. We're going to keep continue to find ways to make some of these claws better and stuff. But basically, that's that right there. And so here's the Blade Shield. The Blade Shield adds on almost 1,800 damage to my build just in a four yard radius it does life leech it's really nice to have um you can see our top end here 3298 damage with this claw and 2800 with this claw mercenary has got cure splendor a garbage viper magi but look his res is capped anyway so i asked for cheat i said give me your like anti-perfect you know viper magi for some perfect gems or whatever 
and then uh, Spirit Sword, which rolled 33. So he actually has 73% um, faster cast. So he does a static field mercenary too. So him and the Shadow Master together do pretty well. So let's go to the pit really quick. I haven't even beat the game, by the way. I'm on Act 4. And so check it out. Let's let's zip through. Oh, here's some special dudes up here. Let's kill them. Um, this guy's freezing everybody here. Let's get him. Wow, we're so slow. There we go. Okay. Um, so... Nice. Nice. Okay, let's move on here. So I switched my wizard spike and spirit, and then we're we can zip through. I can get over to the pit if I want, pretty fast. Here's another group of guys. That guy went down fast. You can see that our telly stomp is pretty nice too because I have blade shield. I kick them. I have a chance to proc amp damage. The the um the shadow master has blade shield usually on too. Yeah, she does. Um and uh. And then the mercenary does static field, you know? So, and we have such high crushing blow, too, that we usually hit, if we hit them with the kick, they get crushing blow on them. They get hit by the kick. They get hit by two blade shields. They, um, they get hit by static field all at the same time, you know? So, there's that. And then I can zip through like this with my super fast second to last frame, you know, faster cast. Or not second to last. I think with the G-Face, I'm on third to last. But it's still really fast. It doesn't matter. Um, and you can see, we're just like... It, we're good, man. We're... It's kind of like a Wolverine build, you know? Um, I also have Cloak of Shadows, so I can cast that. And then just go pick off everybody one by one. Um, at first, I was debating, like, do I really need Enigma? Do I really need it? Because I have Dragonflight, and I have really fast run walk with burst speed. Um, and I'm glad I did make it, because this is actually only the second Enigma that I have online. The other ones that you may have seen on my channel, that's the only one I have, and I just share it between characters, because a lot of the high runes that I get, I'm trying to make other things interesting things, you know? So I didn't always want to just make Enigma over and over again for every character, but... So this is my second one that I've ever had. Yeah, and so... We do pretty good damage right now. Um, we can still improve that with like a really well rolled plague claw, and that, and then also I was I was thinking of switching out this cure. If I get plague, I'll switch out the Bartux. I'll put a I'll put a plague claw on, so I can get cleansing aura and some uh, hopefully a better roll because the damage can roll up to three hundred and twenty percent on a plague. Or it can roll 220%. So hopefully I get a nice roll on that. And then I could wear Plague myself, get Cleansing Aura, and then I could take off this helmet. And I was looking on Tradery to see if there are any, like, poorly rolled Griffins that people would trade away for, like, you know, like, Ulm or Low. And there are, man. So, like, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe trying to get, like a, like, a poorly rolled Griffins for my Mercenary. And then with the plague i could also trigger lower resist when struck you know since i'm always in the thick of, a, of the fight with this character um here's my blade shield um so like i would be proccing lower resist and so i would be able to get like a lot more damage out of my mercenaries lightning abilities and more um uh, potential out of his static field even with his with him being able to lower their resistances and stuff so I was thinking about that um, as a way to further enhance the mercenary because I kind of like using him even though these are lightning immunes there that's okay um, it's just kind of nice like you know on a storm lash how it has static field and crushing blow on it that's kind of like what I'm simulating here in a way because, yeah, I see that? That was static field went off right there. We, we teleported in. Boom! Everybody got hit with static field. So that was kind of sweet. But so, yeah, it's kind of similar. It's almost like I got a storm lash going because I have all this crushing blow. The mercenary's got the static field. Um, and so that's, that's kind of cool. 
And I pretty much haven't switched him out. I think I've just used him ever since I got to Act 3 in Normal, if I recall correctly. Here's a Grand Charm. Also, this build is pretty safe in a lot of ways because the Mercenary will do Mind Blast, you know? And then I have Cloak of Shadows. And then my Blade Shield will just Life Leech for me when I'm standing there in the middle of guys, you know? Um, so the safety is pretty decent on it, too. It doesn't mean you can just not pay attention ever, but it's pretty good. We have... 11% um, lifesteal with this claw, and we have 19% with this claw. Um, another Grand Charm. That was attack rating and dexterity at level, let's see, what was that? Level 5? <laughs> Low level duelers, huh? Do you need that? Um, but yeah, so it's really just nice to have all of the... So my blade shield ran out, or my burst of speed ran out, so I'll just recast it. And with these two pieces to have 30% IAS with, you know, the amount I have, we're hitting like second to last uh, frames on the Dragon Claw. So this is the frames, let me show you. This is how fast we attack. Also, you might notice that you don't hear the assassin going, ay, 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 ay. Um, If you go to options, audio down to skills adjust the volume of player and monster skill sounds then i put that down to like 26 and that way you don't hear it as often um and that does mean though that like even teleporting the sound effect is quieter and stuff but for this character it's just kind of nicer all right so here we go wizard spike spirit shield for the super fast speeds of casting there but yeah so this is ladder this is how the ladder's going going pretty good light plated boots no um and we have a lot of mana with this setup too um because of the spirit shield because of the wizard spike so when i switch i actually have tons of mana to do this i don't really just run out of all my mana and then all i have to do is hit something and kill something and i can get my mana back so watch let me just show you um because we have mana per kill um, on this, it's got 12 mana per kill. Um, so that's kind of nice, you know? See that? So these guys you can't even leech from. And it's like, I'm getting all my mana back, and then I could just teleport around again. So, I kind of like that. The Shadow Killers are, um, like, not, uh, not a great, great item, right? For damage output. But it's not bad. It's really... It's really not bad. Like, look at the shattering effect it has. It's really nice. So, let's go to another area then. Um, let's do Spider Forest um, Arachnid Lair. So, that's the level 85 area. We're only level 84. Telly Stomp in, the, in here. I love how fast we are, dude. Our run walk is crazy, man. It's with the Enigma and the War Travelers, we're at 89% faster run walk, not including the 59% from the burst of speed. So we're so fast. Like, our our frames are good. We have good life steal sustain. We have good crowd control. We have um, massive crushing blow potential. Here, let me tell you stomp in here so that everybody can get a piece, you know. And then when we're and then of course Enigma has damage taken goes to mana. Of course it has it has a useful mod like that too. So it's like I it looks like I'm gonna run out, you know, but then I don't. Here we go, gore break. Just got crushing get crushed with our effects here. Everybody's standing in the middle of this stuff. The Cure Helm on the Mercenary is super nice because this area poisons you really bad, right? And we're just kind of standing in it. See that? Look at that. I'm just standing in the middle of everything. Right. Okay. Like, not bad, right? Choco New. All 
Alrighty. Yep, so there's a level 85 area. Um, did I get everything? No, a little bit more here. Let's take him out. So this guy's immune to physical, see? But he's not immune to lightning, and he's not immune to Shadow Master, and he's not immune to amp damage. <laughs> so we got him, right? Um, but yeah, and there's just been a lot of good trades happening on this, too, for this character. Like, I traded a Bone Break for some Vex runes or something that I found. I traded, like... Um, there's just like, I've just had a lot of fun on this ladder, you know? Um, someone asked too on stream, like, is this going better than the Monk Druid? Yes. <laughs> it's going much better, I think, than the Monk Druid. The Monk Druid, I think, was harder. A lot harder to build up from the beginning. This character just has, you know, this skill as a finishing move just adds tons of attack rating and damage so that we're actually doing, we're doing damage and we're actually hitting and I don't have to have that be an option. I'm not using a Demon Limb, you know? I don't have to buff myself with Blessed Aim or Enchant or something like that. So, that's kind of nice. Um, where we're at with the questing now, we just started Act 4, basically. I, I spent a bunch of time in, like, Nightmare Bale Runs, Nightmare Terror Zones. Because I actually, the first time I got to Hell Mode, I died on the Den of Evil. So, yeah, this is the character on ladder right now. Um... Yeah, and it's been really fun, man. I'm really enjoying this character. I'm really glad I went with the Enigma and the Breastplate. It's been really cool. Um, low, low strength requirement. Doesn't impede our run walk. So that's been sweet. We definitely got help from people watching the streams who were giving me sweet items. Um, and uh, for gambling purposes, I did make an edge as well. So I can have the uh, reduced vendor prices and everything because I do want to try to gamble a bunch of claws to see if I can get any like plus four or five to Shadow Master, you know, stuff like that would be cool. Um, or if I could just gamble a rare claw that rolls 400% enhanced damage, that would be that would be nice. Last thing here, I'll just show some of the things I've crafted and found in the shop that have been really cool on this ladder. Um, I, yeah, let's see. Oh, and we still have here, Cham, Sir, two Vex, Ist, Pol, couple Lem, Co. Um, I actually have more Lem runes, but I actually had to make a mule. Um, so anyway, here's a few nice finds that I'll show off as well. Um, for anyone who's still watching, this stuff's kind of interesting. So I shopped this, look at this. Three to Poison and Bone, three to Bone Spirit. So, plus six to Bone Spirit, I think that's the best in slot you could get for someone who wants to use Bone Spirit. Which I know you might be like, oh, Bone Spirit, but Bone Spirit homes in on the enemies and stuff. It actually does a lot of damage. Kind of sweet. I, I think I will make a Bone Spirit Necromancer hybrid of sorts at one point. Um, I did craft these gloves, which on certain versions of this character right now, if I have enough burst of speed, I don't need the 20 IS on the laying of hands, so I could get 10% more crushing blow with some poison res, strength, life, and four lifesteal. I also crafted these Bitter Fist Vampire Bone gloves. No IS on these either, but look, magic find, lightning res, 10 life, 9 crushing blow, 3% lifesteal. So those could be an option for us as well. If I need more lightning res too, I do have these rares with run walk and 32 lightning res, ethereal repairs, durability, novo instruct, which is kind of cool. Um, I shopped these, Jeweler's Gothic Plate of Regeneration, so four sockets plus five replenish life. I shopped this, four sockets, magic damage reduced by five, and an ancient armor, so the Jeweler's Ancient Armor of Negation. And then I shopped this, which was so sweet, and I've been looking for this forever. Jeweler's Full Plate Mill of Nova Shield. Um, this looks really cool on the character. Look at it, it's all blue and everything. It's super nice. It's that darker blue color than the Frost Nova one really like that so that looks super cool um you know facets or something in this would be really nice it just fits the theme it looks blue it's cool and then i did find this rare circlet which i thought would be pretty a nice option for like an enchantress that's using energy shield because there's mana steel on it 
So it's got 37 mana, 21 life, 27 strength, 5% mana, steal 2 to fire skills. Would it be better than Flickering Flame? Probably not overall. You know, you'd probably want the Flickering Flame. But the bump to strength, life, mana, and mana steal on this is an option. And you could put like one facet in it, or you could put attack speed or something that you might need to hit a frame. So I, I thought this would be good, and if anyone wanted that too, I'd be willing to trade that off. Or if, or if you're someone who watches the channel a lot and you have an Enchantress on ladder, uh, maybe I'll just give it to you, you know? So those were a few nice finds, I thought, and things that I shopped. You know, this plus six here, these jeweler's plates, really nice. I did have some more stuff, but I put it on the mule. Um, and let's see, is that about it then? I think that's about that about covers it so far uh try, sorry i tried to collect my thoughts and talk about everything as fast as i could and i i hopefully that was sufficient and you could kind of see how the build operates and how our wolverine build is going so yeah i really like this one man and the the quality of life of the cast speed with wizard spike spirit and enigma and everything is just just insane it's so nice man so, all right, thanks for checking out that video, and uh, I will be live streaming some more to try to continue on the ladder. Like I said, having lots of fun with it. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.